hey, what's with this goofy thumbnail, huh? I was thinking for seasonals, I'll make meme thumbnails because I do miss making them. I used to do that when I started my channel and it was so much fun creating those. So anyway, seasonal game today. And I love the seasonal because I get to play this card. I love this card and I try my best to make it work in normal Nilf card decks in ladder but it's really hard as they change the way you play the deck completely by reworking uh, Equinoxes. So yeah. So and I want to say one more thing. This deck I have created nearly two years ago I think. And every time I see the season, I go play it. Look at this. Look how deep my deck is. See? Banished. It's like the last deck in the thing. Anyway, I'll get to the deck explanation now. So we're playing Imposters. I know when you get into the seasonal mode, every everybody in Banished literally plays Nilfgaard deck because it's the best uh, way to win it. I didn't net deck this when I read the description about Banished. I, this is the deck that came in my mind and I just made it. And there are multiple versions of it in, in the like among the opponents in the seasonal ladder so yeah imposters is the leader you can just copy a base unit of an enemy opponent so you get you get to get really chunky cards magic lamp is the preferred stratagem i go with as it's easy for us to just click it get a five point body there and then another and you can just pass if you have really high tempo Jennifer's Invocation. So, you need to have a lot of tall punishes in this season as a lot of people play really big cards. So, Jennifer's Invocation, Curse of Corruption. Okay, so because of this card, I run Curse of Corruption. The next card is Siri Nova. So, as you can see, this is kind of a Golden Necker deck, but there's no Golden Necker. You don't put Golden Necker in this as there is no deck to pull cards from. But all my cards are 9 provisions. Like, the max is 9 provisions. So, I put CD for the carryover value. Shilad. This is... This card is exclusive played in this event. Uh, as seasonal, I, a lot of opponents play this, as you can see. And this is because all of... Every single cards or decks run big cards and Shilad literally makes the point one point. Yeah, so that's why we need to get this card in the deck. Lydia, you can add any nine provision cards. You can literally put build reports if you want, but I wanted some tempo play with some special, so I added this. Anna Henrietta, a uh, pretty cool card, uh, but a lot of, card, you know, opponents run this thing. And if you can run this and if they have, if they are double cross or if they ha have another leader other than Enslave, you're going to get good value out of this. Fion, uh, I didn't even know I had this card in my deck because all the games I played, I played over five, six times and I didn't even <laughs> draw him. So, okay. So this is to protect your Siri Nova, your other and like carryover cards. Bribery because you know your opponents is nearly gonna run your same deck if you're if they're a Nilf Guardian opponent, so you can literally get the cards that they have same cards from them if you missed any. Whipper, I love this card. This is th this best boy. Oh my god, I miss this so much. Like if you guys go back to my old videos, you'll see how much fun I have with this card, but this deck is completely annihilated because of rework, so I'm so happy I can play this. And this is a very uh tricky card like opponents have to be very careful when they are passing if this card tri tries to get full value from the graveyard if they pass at the wrong time this will jump out and give you points and opponents will try to destroy this immediately so that they can get it or as you will see i've you can actually there's a strategy with you can sacrifice whipper and get him back later on or with your enslave leader you can throw your discard your whipper into the graveyard and when it comes to the opponent's turn and if, if they pass you can take multiple copies out of them and just bamboozle them because this card is freaking awesome unfortunately not in the main ladder so yeah i'll still try to figure a deck with this doo, -doo. so this again if they have another whipper you can change this if they have a big chunky card you can change that to this mm. uh this is basically for Whipper or Imperial Golem or any big cards like that and I have a bunch of other poisons so 
Cadabrine is actually pretty... Uh, can be for removal and also for spawning. Again, then Imperial Golem. Yeah, the big chunky card you have. This is a pretty strong card in the seasonal as there's no deck that it would damage from. Xavier Lemons. Okay, so we have Lemons in this is because if somehow your opponent screws with our Whipper plan and puts it in our graveyard, you can use Xavier or Lemons to just completely kill the Whipper off or if you are in round 3 and there is a lot of cards there and the Whipper will take time to come, you can put this card in the melee row and kill all the other cards and bring your Whipper out faster. V Venomar, uh, mm -hmm. this is for your leader finisher. So if you lock a character uh, or unit, you can kill that unit with this thing. And you have bunch of other locks to in the deck to kind of synergize with it. But it's ma mainly your leader's uh, combo. Nausicaa Sergeant, I think I just have one of them. Uh, I'm, oh, I have two of them, okay, yeah. Because you need to have broken cards to win this game, right? Because these two are insanely good cards. Uh, and if you... I lost a game where my opponent played, like, four of this in the end, and I'm like, yeah, why, why would I even care? Like, my goals can't even outpoint them, so... Uh, yeah, we really need these cards, two of them, because you're definitely going to lose the round. Mysterious Puzzle Box. Mmm, okay. Super cool card design. I absolutely love this card. Very tricky, very uh, risky to use this, but the payoff value is really good. So you basically get an 20 for 5 if everything goes to plan, theoretically. Uh, because the Lamjin you get is like 2, you'll get 5 plus 2 points, then plus 13 points from the thing in the box, but you need to sacrifice a card for it, and if your opponents can do that too, it'll be, like, if they get more value out of it than you, see, that's a risk, but I love high risk, high reward cards like this, so that's why I put Mysterious Puzzle Box, and you're gonna get a 13 power thing in a box if you're, if you, for example, if you don't want to play Dudu, you just throw this card and in the order ability click doodoo or whipper or any other cards you think are kind of useless like if you think um for example curse of corruption if you you have the tallest units just change it to the thing in the box yeah i freaking love this card experimental remedy is also still taking card from your opponent's graveyard to use it you can use any other 5p cards i just used it so that uh I can get my Whipper out faster. Assassination is for removal. Nilf Guardian Knight because chonky card, so I wanted this to be there. You can play this in the first turn without giving the boost to an enemy. Alba, uh, Cavalry. This is for locking, and also you have combo with Vanamar. So that's why I've added it. Mahakam Ale is just to purify your Whipper. Joust is uh, Joust, you just for removal or for shield. <laughs> Fangs of the Empire is combo with Cadaverine. You can use that and use poison to kill them, or you can just play this with. Uh, you can just poison big enemy units out, and there you go. So, this is my banished deck. I'm actually working on a pretty cool Skelliga deck for tomorrow or day after. Uh, I I made the deck, I just tested it out in casual and it was fun, so I'll, I'll start playing it in ladder, so yeah, look forward to that, I hope you guys enjoy this video, bye! Lumbago is acting up.
Impertinence is the one thing I cannot abide. We go where the Empire has not yet reached. My lovelies, dance!